This video is brought to you by WP Forms. In this video, I'll walk you through how to clear your cache in WordPress. Caching solutions are merely a, a fancy way of saying that they store static version of your website. So your website is a living, breathing thing with a database in the back. And to speed it up, a lot of times, either your hosting provider or you'll have a plugin or your web browser will cache your website to make it faster for the user. However, sometimes the cached version is not the most up-to-date version. And so you'll want to find ways to clear that cache so you can get the most up-to-date version of your website showing on for your users. So in this video, I'll walk you through the different ways that we can clear the cache. We'll be covering things like browser cache, web hosting cache, and top plugin cachings as well. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So the first one is your browser cache. Basically, if this is not the most recent version, then you can simply go into your caching area. And for this one, I'm going to show you what this is like in Google Chrome. You'll usually have little three dots up here. If you can click on that, you can go down to more tools and then you can click clear browsing data. Once this pops up, you'll want to make sure that the cached images and files are selected and then you can click clear data. And then any of the websites that have been cached from your web browser will be cleared and then it'll go out and cache the, the most recent one again. So that's the way you can clear your browser cache. And then if you're not using Chrome, go ahead and take a look at a link in the, in the description below where we show how to clear cache in all major browsers. And you can go through that. The next one you want to do is you want to clear your cache in your WordPress caching plugin. You probably have a caching plugin on your site and the two most popular ones are WP Rocket. And I even walked through through on how to set that up properly. You can watch that video here and I'll show you how you can clear the cache there. So with WP Rocket, you simply want to go down to settings, go to WP Rocket, and then over on the right, you can scroll down and simply click clear cache. And that'll clear all the cache files for you at that moment. If you have WP Super Cache, then you can simply go down to settings, WP Super Cache, and you'll want to scroll down until you find delete cache, and then you can delete the cache here. The next popular caching plugin is W3 Total Cache. So let me show you how you can do that. For W3 Total Cache, you'll simply find performance tab on the left. So we'll go here. And then from here, you want to go to your dashboard. Once you're on your dashboard, you can choose to empty all caches and that will go out and clear the cache for your WordPress website. The next area you want to look at is from your hosting provider. Different hosting providers offer different caching. For instance, if you're using WP Engine, you simply want to go to your WP Engine area and click on the WP Engine and then look for the Purge All Caches button here. If you are using Bluehost as a hosting provider, then you'll see a caching item up here where you can go up here and purge all cached items. And then finally, if your hosting provider is SiteGround, then you'll see a purge SG cache here. We can click on that and then it will purge your item. You can also come over to SG Optimizer. That's basically their, their speed and optimization plugin that they have. You can go in and do a manual cache here as well. But for most people, it works just by clicking it up here. Next, if you're using a WordPress firewall like Securi, then you can clear the cache from there. So you have Securi over here. You want to go to firewall WAF, come up here to the clear cache tab and clear cache there. Another feature that will help you with your WordPress website is by using WP Forms. WP Forms is the easiest to use drag and drop form builder on the market for WordPress. It allows you to do as simple as making a contact form to as robust as creating a workflow system for your business. To get started with WP Forms, just head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner. And by doing that, you'll get the best discount on WP Forms. And thanks for watching.